Welcome everyone. The first step to back up Samsung S23 Ultra to the PC is we need to turn on developer options and we do this by opening up the settings app and then from here you're going to scroll down until you see the about phone option. I'm going to move this out of the way because it will show my phone number. And once you scroll down you want to find where it says the software information and once you see this we're going to find the build number and you just want to spam tap the build number until it asks for your security lock so in my case it's my pin and once we tap on continue the developer mode has been enabled so let's go back to the home page of settings and you're going to see at the, uh, the bottom the developer options so we can tap into this and we just need to turn on the USB debugging so we're going to turn this on and OK. You can turn off the developer mode and the USB debugging once we have done the backup. Moving to the computer, this can be both Windows and Mac. You're going to head over to the Smart Switch website. I'll have it in the description. And you see the Mac and the Windows download. Just click on the one for your operating system. And once the download has finished, we're going to open up the setup file. Now we'll just open it again. So we're going to click on allow and essentially you just need to follow the on-screen instructions. Now it says we need to restart the computer so I'm going to do that now. We can now locate the smart switch app. So on the Mac we go to applications and then we double click on the smart switch and then the apps right here. On Windows you probably just need to click on a uh, search button and search up for the smart switch. So we have the agreement, we'll just click on I agree and we'll click on OK. It wants access to the calendar, I don't know why but we'll just click on OK. Apologies for this flux thing, I don't know what this is. So we now need to connect the Samsung to the computer, so I'm going to connect that right now. Uh, I recommend you use the charging cable which came with the Samsung phone, one end to the computer, other end to your Samsung. So we're going to click on allow if asked from the computer's end and it has glitched out, beautiful. In this case I'm just going to unplug and replug to the computer and I think that time it worked. So on the phone itself I'll have a screenshot that is going to ask if you want to allow the app to access your phone data. So I'll just tap on allow. Smart switch would like to control the computer. I'm going to deny that. I don't think you need that at all. So we can see my S23 Ultra is connected. So we have the backup button and the uh, restore button. So I'm going to click on the backup button here. And you can see all of my data. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to back up the settings so this will be fast. But of course, you can back up as much as you'd like. So now it's going to initiate the backup process. Okay, so we see the transfer results. We can see everything was backed up. Now, if you would like to know where the backups are saved, because maybe you want to copy the backup to an external hard drive. So on Windows 10, this is just in the documents folder. You don't really need to do anything other than click on the documents. But you're going to notice on Windows 11 and the older Windows, it saves to the app data. So you need to open up the search bar and then search for percent app data and it'll bring you into that folder. Uh, may also bring you into the roaming folder. From there you just click on Samsung, etc. And then on Mac OS, we need to find the documents folder. On the Mac, you just want to go into the search bar or finder, search for the smart switch. And when you do it, just select this Mac and you'll find the folder, then you'll find the backup, and then you can see the backups right here. If you wanted, you could drag and drop these files onto an external hard drive if you wanted to do that. And at any time, if we go back into the smart switch, we can click on the restore button here. And if you moved your data to an external location, you can just click on the add backup data, and then find that folder. 
and it will open into the smart switch then you can see the data then when you're happy just click on restore that covers everything thanks for watching if you'd like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye